in this lecture we'll see how to create a variables in the python so first of all open your cell and give the variable name so let me say name is my variable name and let me say i want to give the name sachin which is my name inside this double quote so you can see inside this double quote we have passed something text inside here that means this is a string like in many languages it may be in the c c sharp or java we don't pass here semicolon to in the statement in the case of python you will simply pass nothing over here in order to see the output or basically the content of that variable you simply give the name and it will show us a content if you want to give or make a integer variable let me say i want to make the math variable which will contain it and if i want to see the content of a math variable simply pass the name as a math and you will see the content as it if you want to give the math variable at the same variable but with the different value 8.9 then it will be changed directly to 8.9 so this is the dynamic programming in the python that means we can assign any value in the python and it will be valid which is not in the case of uh, java or any other high level languages and uh, python being a dynamic type language it will be just valid in the python so you can make different variable over here so you can make a boolean type so let me say um honest variable and if i say t r u e so make sure that t is capital over here because we have seen in the case of a keywords so this is basically a keywords and keywords are a case sensitive so that means this t has to be capital if you make something like t r u e this won't be valid and if you make uh, something like let me say again honest is t r u e this is the boolean type if you want to see the class or what is this type of honest and it will show us a bool which means this is a boolean if you want to see this type of the math which is obviously the float and if i say math type it will show us a float so float is basically a decimal which is basically you can see the content of the math over here which is 8.9 which is the decimal so float is for the decimal if you want to see the type of the name you will see it will show us a string so if i say type of the name it will give us a class is a string so type is another function or a method that is going to show us a data type so we have now studied about the string which is inside this double quote anything that is inside this double quote is a string if you type something like let me say hey i am then this is also a string so anything that is inside this double quote or it can be also the single quote hey hello everything that is inside this single quote or double quote is your string another is your number so anything that is 5 or 6 or any number so that is your number and next thing is uh, the your basically this boolean boolean would be true or false so you can see we have seen a bunch of fundamental data types over here so let me save this first so we have a bunch of fundamental data types so we have seen about the integer string and boolean in this lecture we have to explore further data structures in the upcoming lecture but uh, for now you can see we can also do multiple assignments uh, to the variable so we have seen how to create the variable it won't be something like starting with var or starting with integer or starting with string it won't be in the case of the python in order to create the variable in python it is really easy you have to simply give the name of the variable and uh, let me say i want to create the integer variable having the health of the character to be 90 so this is your variable so if you want to check the health the content of the health you simply pass the name and you will see the content is 90 so this is the way to create the python variable if you want the multiple assignment to the variable that means if you want to create variable a b and c if you want to create variable a b or c 
so it should be here a b and c and if you want to have the multiple assignment to this variable instead of just creating one you can just pass here something like five seven or if you want to just pass a string here saying hey then you can do this and now if you want to just check the value a b c you can see it is five seven and hey if you want to see a variable it is 5 b is 7 and if you see c it will contain here so this is the multiple assignment to the variable or basically the multiple variable so we have a rule or naming convention to create the variable in the constants in all programming language and that is the camel case so if you want to create the variable name make sure it makes a sense because if you want to give the player character name and if you just create the variable a and if you say uh, the player name this so this doesn't make any sense if you just see a so it would make sense for you but if you see that other programmer are using the same code of yours they won't think that this variable a represents the player name so make sure that every variable makes a sense so if you say that name like this or name of player and give the player name this will make really sense so anyone will see your code will just think like okay this is the name of a player and that will get the more sense to the other coder too or maybe for yourself too if you just go to the code back after a long time so next one is to use the camel case so camel case is really important notation to declare the variable and it starts with the lower case so if you want to say create the name with the my age so i'll say 89 and if i just print my age then it is saying 89 over here so this is your camel case that starts with the small or lower case and after uh, basically uh, one symbol or letter you'll just make with a capital letter so as to specify these are the two words so if you just end with let me say my and address so after this one word you start with the uppercase for the first letter and you go with all the lowercase and you just give your address so this is the way or convention which will make much more sense or um, basically will be more attractive when you just make your variable name so next thing is to just use the capital letter whenever possible to declare a constant so if you want to create the pi variable which will be 3.14 it should be all in uppercase this is the way to create the constants so you can also see the gravity if you if you see this gravity 9.8 this is your constant which is in the uppercase all in uppercase and uh, never make use of a special symbol in the case of making the variable so making like my has is and 90 this is not valid this is not valid in the case of python never make use of a special symbol while creating the variable so a special symbol can be like this exclamation mark at the rate sign has sign or basically the dollar sign all of these special characters are not valid uh, or the percentage modulus sign this won't be valid in the case of the python because all of these had the special meaning in python so this modulo is for the division and this dollar sign and this has for the comment this all have the special meanings so you can't make use of this in the variable name so next thing is that you do not have to start your variable with the digit so if i say nine my name and if i say hey this is not valid because you can't have the variable that is started with the digit next one is that we have to put the constants in the separate module and we'll learn about that in the upcoming lecture but for now just remember for the constants it better is to make a simple python file where you can have all of the constant sorted in that file and we'll make use of that file as a constant file and we'll import and use in the different file so these are the type of uh, 
basics uh, and uh, the naming convention that we have to follow while creating the variable name and uh, that is to make a uh, much more sense while creating the variable and working with the logic in the upcoming lecture but for now we'll see about the type conversion so i'll just uh, open this demo file and uh, or basically we'll just go with the cell and i'll show you here so let me clear this first or let me just close out and open the new terminal or new cell and now here all you need to do is first of all let me say input command so input is going to input you something so i'll say enter your age so i'll just say this enter your age and let me say that it should be inserted in the variable name age i've created the variable age and with this input command so same as print command this input command is going to input because this is also a method that is going to input so print is basically consoling out and print input is basically inputting out your commands are basically what you just pass here so if i say enter your age and if i say 56 is my age and if i hit enter and if i say this is you could see that we have entered here that is integer but it has reflected out as a string so i have already told you in the before lecture that anything is inside this double quote is a string and if you see that is this 56 is the integer so if i say type which is the method to check that if i say 56 then it will get you a string which is a string so if i say type only 56 now it will show us a string uh, basically integer because this is an integer but if you just input here that is 56 the is that was integer which was inputted as an integer has been converted into the string which is done by this input method so now all you need to do is type conversion or type cast this integer to our string to the integer because we want 56 not as a string but an integer so in order to do that we have the couple of method for the type conversion if i say is and now you can see that this is which was integer uh, which was a string has passed into this int method to be converted from a string to the integer if i hit enter now this is which was a string has been converted to the integer if you want that back that is basically i will say is integer and is so let's go back and now if i say is is now integer but if you want to roll back to the string now again you can do something like is str which is another method to convert integer to the string or anything other to the string so if i say enter again and see the is it has been now typecasted to the string again which was integer before has been type converted or typecasted to the string so these are the type conversion method which is done implicitly over here which is converting integer to the string string to the integer we can also do boolean to string in this same manner and this is the way to just perform some of the operations in the next lecture we'll see output formatting and we'll see how format method can be used in the next lecture see you in the next one